Hello class, it's hard to believe that we're cruising through and already halfway through this course. So in week four, what you're going to be learning first in our grammar book um, are about clauses, okay? There's two types of clauses, dependent clauses and independent clauses, all right? And then you'll also be learning in chapter 26 how to punctuate dependent clauses with commas. And then in the third chapter in our Oz textbook, you'll also be learning about fragments in chapter 16. And I want you to read the fragment chapter um, last. And the reason is, is because sometimes some fragments are just dependent clauses. Okay, so I think it will help you when you understand what dependent clauses are um, first. That will help you then understand fragments a little bit more. All right, in addition to what we're reading in our grammar textbook, you do have two articles on summaries um, on MU Learn that you need to go and view. They're called um, How to Write a Summary and How to Start a Summary Paragraph. And we're going to focus a lot on summaries uh, this week. So in the reading questions, that question D that keeps changing every week, you're going to be asked to go and just look at a source that Duckworth uses in uh, Chapter 7 of Grit and uh, notice how she summarizes this source real briefly um, in the chapter. And I'll point that out to you um, in a future video for kind of how to do that and what I'm looking for you to do. Uh, the second thing is, is that in your paragraph exercise, you're going to be asked to write a summary of a section that Duckworth uh, wrote in chapter seven, which is practice. OK, so you're in the summary instead of like giving a quote like you did last week, this week you're going to provide a little summary of a section. So not the whole chapter overall, but just take one of the, you know, maybe the people who she gives as an illustration and kind of summarize that section of the chapter and use that as your support in your um, paragraph exercise. And I'll make another video uh, later to kind of explain that um, a little bit more. So keep trucking along. Um, you guys are doing great in the course. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to get in touch with me this week.